Well, welcome Pisces. This is going to be a reading about someone you're not speaking to or you're just curious, see what's going on. All right. It looks like somebody is walking away, going in a new direction. This is more of leaving all these cups behind and going more towards the sun. I feel like this may be you detaching or trying to detach from somebody. Yeah, overcoming this stagnant feeling here with the Six of Swords energy. This is, you know, fighting with your emotions, but also making a choice if you want to stay or go. Okay, we do have the King of Rings. This is more of an Earth sign. Uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn doesn't have to be. But when it's in the reverse, this could be a very selfish kind of energy, um, kind of unreliable, not, uh, you know, not, not stable, not coming off. Uh, consistent in some way okay so let's see because I am seeing somebody's kind of leaving you in this feeling of needing to make a choice now we do have you coming in with the fool all right this energy with the ten of pentacles we also have the hair fit which is in the challenge now this is interesting for me because I am seeing like either like a marriage for some of you that somebody may have a uh, somebody who's maybe say that they're divorced or in separation but may still be in contact with a person there is something here that has to do with commitment so this is more of a non-committal energy from what I'm seeing with the Hierophant and then we have them with the ten of Pentacles so which can be family stability home long-term relationships something in that way but we're gonna check we're gonna clarify and get more into that Okay, so let me just scoop this over here, guys. Sorry about that. Ooh. We have a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius coming into the reading too, more of air sign. It doesn't have to be that sign, but it does look like 10 of swords is here. When the 10 of swords is here, this is basically saying that something feels like a betrayal or something feels like it's coming to an end. This may have come to a shock for you, for a lot of you guys, um, as you are seeing more clear about the situation. And we do have the Two of Wands. So this is all about crossroads. You know, when the Two of Wands comes in, this is like worry, a lot of worry and fear. There's also um, a sense of, you know, somebody like needing to walk the talk but there may be no action being taken but this is about planning for the future but since it's in reverse it's like okay well now there's something stuck now there's a feeling of needing to make some choices <clears throat> why is this full here in pisces energy nine of cups something does no longer makes you feel fulfilled. You're wanting more out of a connection. You're wanting more out of something, out of life. This does not fulfill your desires or your wants anymore. I feel like you're just kind of defeated about this whole situation. You're just like, I don't, this is not even really worth fighting for at this time, you know, because there is like a sense of just feeling really unfulfilled where you're wanting to, you know, take a leap of faith into something else, start a new journey, just embrace other opportunities. Let's see where this uh, energy is coming from with the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, three of Wands. This person's, um, I feel like they're kind of going through something here with that Three of Wands energy too, with the sun. There's something here that's really delayed in their energy, which is a setback. Hmm. You know, it looks like somebody's waiting. They're waiting for something. There's a bit of frustration here of things not really going as planned for this person. I feel like they're waiting to see the results of something. So there's really no movement. This usually is like waiting for the ships to come in. So there's, there's something here with this person I feel they're, they're not really making any moves. Instead, they're now kind of seeing what's coming in some odd way. 
We have the Queen of Cups coming through the reading. This is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Pisces, uh, there's a lot of emotions here with the Queen of Cups. I love the Queen of Cups regardless, but you're very highly sensitive. You can see or you can feel things that people are not even feeling yet. You can see things before it even happens. This energy can feel when energies shift. So yes, this can be very upsetting because something feels out of balance. Something feels distant and uncomfortable, okay, when it comes to the challenge, when it comes to this hierophant. Like there's either different beliefs or different ways of handling things, or there just feels like you're kind of, you're, you're venturing out to what your truth is and what you want. And something here is unlocking parts of yourself that you may not even be aware about as of yet, but soon you will see because there's something here that's triggering your intuition and you really need to trust it. Yeah, Six of Swords in the past is coming in with the Queen of Wands. See, I'm feeling like more this is what you're overcoming. And in the past, it is showing stuck energy, feeling stuck. Um, for some, yes, there could be another energy involved. For others, it just feels like something is just not sparking your interest anymore. There's a lot of fighting your emotions and going back and forth with something here in the past that was definitely either making you stuck or returning to certain situations, right? But now I feel like you're kind of seeing things a lot differently now, for sure, just by how your energy is here. Yeah, see, things were like very like where you needed to protect yourself with the Nine of Wands energy. It's just like you per persevered through something very difficult. Now, in this person's mind, they have the lovers. And we have the two of swords. They feel like they need to make a move. Somebody is very much emotional, uh, connecting with you emotionally here. Uh, but they, the two of swords, so there's just something very stagnant here. Okay, especially when it's in the reverse. This is like... Someone feels like things are stalemate. There needs to be a decision or some action being taken and coming up with a decisive choice or make a choice in some way. So it looks like somebody's making a choice or thinking about making a decision on this end. And it, lo it looks like they're wanting to close out this chapter they want to close out something, but something here is feeling delayed. Okay, I'm okay. Let's let's keep going because this is getting interesting. Because they are waiting. Mm, unexpected. You may not see something coming here in the near future, but it looks like somebody wants to make amends, or somebody wants to talk. Somebody wants to compromise. With that five of wands in the reverse now when the five of wands is in the reverse this is somebody who really wants to like try to end some conflict or release something fix something make an agreement bring peace so, you know and harmony back into the situation balance what's this five of wands the ace of cups so this is kind of telling me that maybe there is another chance coming around here from what I'm seeing from this other person. Like they wanting to make a choice to come towards you to close out this cycle or what and resolve something with you. Okay, they want to come together in some way. So I, because I feel like you're very unhappy about something. And with that Ten of Swords, like this looks like somebody's like kind of fearing of something ending, not wanting things to end right maybe because of their behavior or however but they are coming there is a, a, a like the lovers is about choices this person's about choices so this unexpected event that is coming in in the near future or possibly already happened or something that needs to be resolved it's like can we work through that and that's where i feel like should we stay or should we go should we try again or should we move forward Okay, 
um, because we do have the Six of Cups. <laughs> and the Six of Cups is all about soulmates. You know, it's about childhood, um, triggered from old memories, releasing the guilt or trying to release past relationships too. But this is also processing and healing things. But this is making peace. This also could be a person coming back from the past, like reconnecting or somebody maybe returning or somebody's returning. And we do have that Ace of Cups with the Five of Wands. For some, it could still be a very big challenge. But I feel like there's big decisions here. If you're wanting this or not, you want to continue to keep trying. Do you want to, to work on things with this person? Because I do see somebody taking action towards you to come up with something. But again, I do feel like a little bit of the trust is gone within this connection um, to where there may be some still conflict and some inner, inner conflict because there may be a fear of something happening again too or something repeating itself. <clears throat> let's see let's see the I want to grab the top part yeah it looks like, like a breakup of some sort hmm. maybe dealing with the fire sign Aries Leo Sagittarius so you may be in separation here with somebody but it does look like somebody wants to come towards you let's see how they're feeling here You and I were too young. So that's that's crazy because the Six of Cups is talking about being young, childhood. Maybe you grew up with this person. You know this person for a long time for some of you. I want to be more than friends. I want to tell you how I feel. I want you. I wish I could share my good news with you. <laughs> so it's kind of like trying to rise above the emotions trying to come type to some type of agreement here trying to bring things back into balance after possibly you know a very hard ending in some way or someone that you had really hard times with again i am seeing more of an air sign this is more logic but also the air the king of swords can be very cold and emotionally detached so very judgmental and manipulative and all of those things but it, it and it seems like somebody here is like now at this crossroads you know and now it looks like somebody's now coming in as the king of cups operating from like a more calmer state emotional available now trying to be in con understanding and connect with you now in some way from what i'm seeing here okay doesn't mean you have to do what the cards say. It's just something that I'm seeing with uh, this uh, situation. So I just want to grab um, more of an advice card of overall, your life overall, what Spirit wants you to focus on or asking from you at this time. Ask for help. Okay, so your message is you're being asked to request help from another. You don't need to deal with this issue alone. There are many people who want to help you, but it's up to you to bravely ask for their support. It's a sign of strength to reach out, do that today. Okay, so if you're stuck or you're not sure, definitely uh, Spirit is saying ask for help, okay? But I'm gonna go ahead and leave this here for you. I do hope this message helped you, Pisces, and brought some clarity to you. Um, again, this is more of the potential future, and this is more of what the outcome is, you know, if, like, can you overcome these challenges with somebody here too? So for some, it even could be a marriage or a separation or a breakup or somebody from the past um, that you're not talking to in some way. And it does show that somebody is now wanting to kind of come back and reach out um, too. So I'm going to leave this here. I hope this message helped and brought clarity. And once again, if it did in any way, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys very soon. God bless.